to a new video here as we cling cling our glasses together. If you're having a nice awesome drink like me, I'm a little crazed from my coffee this morning. But why not be crazed from my cover this morning? Because that's just fun to the craze. Okay, on that crazy, crazy note, if you are new and want to become part of this crazy sparkle of a family, hit that subscribe button. But for today, you people, we are here, as you can see, to do some pink nail art for you. I have four nail art designs to show you and if you have any colors you'd like me to do let me know down below as i get these bad boys to you right now and right here so enjoy so starting off with the first color of my first nail art i'm going to do for you guys today and it's this bright bright gel like polish from LA girl that I'm putting on here on my pointer finger as I point you out and that's right I point you out with this nail art here <laughs> and now I'm just gonna put a second coat of course still pointing you out there with the pink of all pinks yep that second coat given that true true color and let's get into that nail art part now and as you can see I'm gonna do something I have not fully done before and yes I am using a flare brush and you're gonna see what I'm doing in just a minute this brush is my first time using and I love it it is an awesome brush I love how it mixes the two colors together and gives that little bit I just wanted a little bit of a difference because I just thought that would be nice and fun for this before I do the next part that I'm gonna do yes there's more coming on this nail not just the two-tone color like this and then I thought I'd leave it nope yep that's right I'm gonna do some fruit some pink fruit on that note so cuz I saw some pink little strawberries and then this like pink almost like I don't know a some like one of those cut fruits kind of like a lemon but in a pink color so of course I gotta get my kiss glue out so it will stay on there bad boys and uh well, at least for the time at least as long as I can so there we go. Yes, I should have used my tool because this would have been lots easier. But I thought, why not? Let's try. Usually I can cling it to my finger like a suction cup. But yeah, it was a little finicky because I am using my skin. And really and truly, I should use the tool. But there we go. As I hold it into the glue there on the bottom of the nail. And I need a little more glue because I took a little too long to get that one. So I wanted to make sure that one had nice wet glue to put it on. Yes, I'm being finicky once again, but it eventually did what I wanted, and I got it. So there we go, getting on the second one, because I just want to go a little crazy in some fun way, so why not do it like that? But yeah, now I'm going to kind of bend the sides down just a little bit, hold them for a few seconds, and there we go. And now we're done. Let's close that bad boy in, and then get to the next nail art here of it all. And to the next color, we're going to use this crazy pink spray sparkle polish oh yes that's right it's crazy sparkle and here we go putting it on and that looks so yummy oh so okay no i'm not gonna eat it of course <laughs> and all that but that looks pretty nice putting on mm, so yummy how it looks on if i do say so and then i'm fixing the side a little bit quickly doing it before it dries and i'll put another coat so it all smooths it if it needs some and there we go with the second coat of the polish as i recommend two coats at least and now we're going to do the nail design here. This one is going to be a butterfly nail. So I'll do my best because this is going to be freehand butterfly, not a stamp of butterfly. So here we go doing it. There were some finicky little moments with this that didn't come out as well as I did a while back with another one. So this is my best attempt getting it again this time. And it turned out pretty well at the end of all. But this is my first part of doing it. It's gonna need some cleanup and you'll see how I do that in a minute after I get the lines here. This is the one I chose. I looked on the internet of the webs to find a design that was easy, nice to do by hand with free handing like this. So this is what I decided to do. A nice little of a wing from a butterfly as we fly fly to the moon and back as we fly to it all ah oh, my silliness of singing i'm going to use some of the color that's underneath and this is like i said i'm going to clean it up so i'm putting a little bit of the color on top of that after let it dry some so i can kind of clean it up and the lines look a little more 
the nice and put together so this because some of the spaces got a little too almost too close so this kind of helped to make the spaces that i wanted for the butterfly wing to be a little more wide opened there it looks pretty good if i do say so myself as i keep adding some of that pink sparkle crazy of a polish and this is something you can do just make sure you don't hit the polish too much and move the other color so make sure it's dry enough or however it works for you but yeah uh, in my this worked pretty well for me so that's all i got to say so there we go and now i'm going to use this i could use my dotting tool to do this part because when i looked at the design there was little like dotty dots on the, the design i saw so i said okay i'm going to do that as well so this is just me kind of bringing the color underneath on top because i thought that's just how i would do it for this design because i'm trying to go pink to the crazy pink as much as possible and now I'm just adding a little extra to the lines to give that crispiness and more thick color to show off because it was a little thin because how it moved. So I wanted to make sure that it was more opaque of a color there on those lines that make the wing come to life. So that's what I'm doing here, as you can see, and all that awesomeness. So here we go. I did change this a little bit because as I was wearing it, I was like, hmm. So I added a gray color on top of it. So it kind of gives it the more depth and I thought that popped more. And now I'm just putting the top coat on to seal it all in after I changed it to the gray instead. And now we're going to the next color. Yes, this isn't so pink, it is orange, but I thought it kind of went pretty nicely with the whole pink theme so it kind of blended well so i'm still doing a pink theme but this is like one of the few colors i'm doing that isn't so pink but to me it can kind of show a tinge of pink in its way and i am adding some pink gems for this one so yeah, this one is a gemmed nail simple gem nail but still some gems i'm using some smaller pink ones that are darker and then those bigger pink ones so here he is putting on the kiss glue of course and then this time i actually am using my little gem tool making it a lot easier to put on so what i decided to do was do a few lines at the bottom of the nail like one line like a couple lines of the tiny ones and then in, in the middle some of the bigger light pink ones so that's what i'm doing here as you can see me putting them on holding them in to that kiss glue the mwah, mwah of mwah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I had did do a kissy kiss nail in pink tones that's on my YouTube channel as well as we do this bad boy of a nail. Now to hold, to get it all in, let's put the nice top coat on top to seal that design right in onto that nail and get on to the next one. Yep, there it is. And now we get to the last but not least, and this one's gonna be a pinkish tinge of like a skin tone polish that I'm using here. One of those beauty evolved polishes I got a while back. So there we go with those colors and that looks nice and ready for the design. And this one is gonna go into the swishy swish of it all with the abstract after I get my second coat of the color on here as you can see. So it's nice and more smoothed out. So there we go. And now I'm doing that swishy swish that I said. I'm taking all the colors from the other nails and I'm adding a little stroke of each thin bent munch of it on top and as they overlap each other a little bit still showing the main color through and there we go and now of course last but not least putting that last top coat on the last nail well there we go as i clap to it all to my four nail arts in pink that I just showed you. If you enjoyed that, please give it a huge thumbs up as big as you possibly can. Yes, that's right, make it big. Well, I don't know if you can make it extremely big. And if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that bell so you can come notified and all that awesomeness. And there's way more fun videos on the channel and all that and then these ones that are coming up here to show you so if you want to watch anything else got plenty more where that came from and all that awesomenesses of awesomenesses and like i said if you have any colors you'd like me to do a video on let me know and i'll do four nail art designs on that color so with no further ado i thank you for coming i'll see you in the next video you awesome great people on that other side welcome and thank you for that, sparkle, sparkle, bam!